Talk about having big shoes to fill. In 2011, as Apple was about to release the iPhone 4S, Tim Cook was handed the reins of world's most valuable company by Steve Jobs. But not everyone believed he could pull off one of the most closely watched succession plans in corporate history. There was a tendency for a lot of people to say, oh, now Apple has lost a key force and it will uh, be in decline and won't be innovative and it all came from one person. Five years later, Apple's the largest company in the world by market cap. Its global revenues have more than doubled. In China, they've more than quadrupled. The iPhone, launched under Steve Jobs, now makes up about two-thirds of the company's overall revenue. Apple recently sold its one billionth iPhone, and Cook's had a part to play too. I started really appreciating Tim Cook for the advances in our iPhone software. But now, iPhone sales are slowing. The company's stock is flat this year. While it's outperforming the S&P 500, it's trailing the NASDAQ. And two quarterly drops in revenue, ending Apple's 13 years of consecutive growth. In his five years, Cook has only launched one new product, the Apple Watch, and invested $1 billion in car hailing app Didi Chu Sing, fueling speculation. Apple's next big idea could be in self-driving cars and ultimately determine Cook's legacy over the next five years. Upton Saidi, CNBC. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.